Hi Aquarius, this is your July 17th through July 23rd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the X. Spread after that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first bet is a new love uh, this week. We have uh, the Three of Cups, clarified by the Page of Wands. We have Strength, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Star with the Sun and the Ten of Cups. And we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, perhaps even another Aquarius. I think you're dealing with a Leo. I think you are. Aquarius, or will be dealing with a Leo, right? We have Strength and the Sun. Both of them are Leo Major Arcana cards. And um, what's interesting is um, on the 23rd of July, this is when the Leo birthday season begins, but it's the last day <laughs> of the week this uh, spread this reading is for. Perhaps you met this person or you will meet this person at some kind of an event or a party, perhaps at Cancer's birthday party and then they will invite you to their own birthday party or something like that all right uh, I do see you meeting this person at some kind of an event all right we start with the three of cups clarified by the page of ones the three of cups could be a part of a reunion or an event all right and it could be a cancer's birthday party we're wrapping up cancer's birthday season right now Right? Or it could be a concert, a show, a game, a party, I don't know. But that's where you're meeting this person or have already met them. Right? The page of ones, clarifying the Three of Cups, this is them starting a conversation with you. If you're really dealing with a Leo and it makes total sense, Leo is a fire sign and the page of ones is a fire sign indicator. Right? Um, yeah, this is where you met this person or about to meet this person. We have strength clarified by the Nine of Cups after that. Again, Leo. Uh, major arcana card strength could also be a card of pure raw passion Aquarius perhaps uh, uh, you didn't go home <laughs> perhaps uh, uh, you guys uh, spent some more time one-on-one -on -one getting really cozy if you know what I mean um, strength um, could be a card of courage right so courage to move forward courage to ask you out or courage for you to go to their birthday party after that strength is clarified by the nine of cups the nine of cups is a card of a wish come true and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment so again passionate encounters if you if you know that what i mean but at the same time the nine of cups in some tarot decks also looks like some kind of a party in some tarot decks in the nine of cups there's people standing around and celebrating okay so perhaps You've met this person at some kind of an event and their birthday is coming up and they will invite you to their birthday. And uh, they could use that as an excuse to get the show on the road with you. And uh, the next card I came out is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. So, And uh, the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious. You know, for some of you, if it's not a Leo, then they will invite you to a Leo's birthday party. Keep that in mind. All right. But uh, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles doesn't just show up for no reason. To me personally, this is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle other Aces, but um, the Ace of Pentacles is like a package. It's like a bundle. All Aces combined into one. In the potential outcome, we have the star with the the sun and the ten of cups the star is uh your major arcana card aquarius all right it's also a card of a wish come true by the way just like the nine of cups so perhaps you are each other's wish come true <laughs> the next card i came out is the sun another leo card right and at the same time it's the happiest card in the deck with the sun we always feel on top of the world we always feel successful we always feel loved and uh, joyful. The Ten of Cups right next to the deck is the Happily Ever After card. It's a family card. It's uh, one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. And on the bottom of the deck we have the Hierophant. Right? The Hierophant could be a card of education for some of you. Perhaps that's how you know this person. For others of you, the Hierophant, um, what it most likely means, right? It's a card of a uh, commitment of marriage, just like the Ten of Cups. It's a very serious, very spiritual, uh, very traditional card. Now, did I mention it could be a Taurus? Uh, the Hierophant is a Taurus major kind of card. So technically we do have 
two commitment to marriage cards on the table. Your major account card, the star is in your own potential outcome. So you are in your own potential outcome sitting right next to the sun and the ten of cups. What I really like about the sun and the ten of cups, the sun is the happiest card in the deck and the ten of cups is often referred to as that happily ever after. So I think it's a fair assumption that you're going to be really happy <laughs> with this person. All right, uh, really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this part is for you. Uh, we have Temperance, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Queen and the King of Cups, and we have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I love this, Aquarius. I just love this. This part is about... You two being on the same page, you two being the ultimate love partners, the ultimate love couple. The spread is about patience, real estate, and money, or financial <laughs> abundance in general. All right, so you've got everything here. Love, you know, roof over your heads, you've got money in the bank, and it's, it's just really nice. All right, <laughs> all right. The Queen of and the King of Cups. That's you and your person, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your spouse, your significant other. The King and the Queen of Cups. Uh, this is my ultimate love couple. Well, hopefully it's not only this week. Hopefully it's uh, moving forward until the end of time, right? But that's you, the ultimate love couple. Temperance, the first card that came out. Um, in this case, uh, there could be a Sagittarius somehow involved here, but I think Temperance is um, a very patient card. With Temperance, nobody is in a hurry. Nobody is making any sudden movements, right? It's just calm, it's just nice, and perhaps you are doing something uh, with uh, your money this week as well, or real estate, or perhaps you're working in your living situation, right? Temperance is classified by the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of real estate, it's a card of finances, and uh, it's a card of a rock-solid commitment to marriage. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Again, money, finances, long-term planning, um, or things like that. You know, but uh, yeah, I, I love this, Aquarius. This is all you need. All you need is here, right? <laughs> Being very patient, very calm, very loving, and there's money here. All right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, um, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. It doesn't even have to be an X in your case. We have uh, the Star, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the King of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Six of Cups. And uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, for some of you, it could be you who is reaching out to someone from your past. It could be, right? Because we start with the star. The star is your major arcana card. Okay, and then we also have the king of swords right there in the middle. That could also be you. But uh, I'll just focus on the interpretation of the spread as if somebody is reaching out to you. That's what I, that's what I was actually asking for. <laughs> okay, so the king of swords right there in the middle, that would be the person coming back from the past. Could be an air sign, just like you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. But again, we start with you, the star, your major kind of card, unless you're dealing with another Aquarius. And uh, as I was clarifying the star, that was actually the last clarifier I pulled. Right? As I was clarifying the star, I simply asked how will Aquarius feel about what's going on. And the Two of Cups showed up. Yes, <laughs> you're either getting back together with them or if it's somebody from your past, you're going to give it a shot. Because, uh, yeah, the uh, Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a, it's a card of when two people see eye to eye. Right, um, the next card I can is the Page of Cups, clarified by that King of Swords. The Page of Cups could be an apology if this is your ex. Or the Page of Cups, it's, if it is somebody from your past, not an ex, they just want to catch up with you, see what you've been up to, they want to ask you on a date, things like that. We have uh, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Six of Cups right next to the deck. The Six of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection, just like the Two of Cups. And it is also a card of somebody coming back from the past. But again, the thing about the Six of Cups, it's not necessarily an ex. For some of you, it could just be from someone from your past. The Eight of Wands... It's a card of communication, it's a card of travel, you guys could go travel together, go on a road trip together, or you may start communicating a lot, but uh, my favorite interpretation of the Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows card. Yes, Aquarius, Cupid's Arrows. 
And uh, the cherry on top, the Ten of Pentacles, um, on the bottom of the deck is a card of our commitment to marriage. Rock solid commitment to marriage, as a matter of fact. So yeah, it's either a reconciliation, or if it is someone from your past, then I think you're going to... Uh, <laughs> at least look forward to taking it to the next level. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances uh, queries this week. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we have uh, the Two of Swords, by Five by the Hangman. We have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So you have a choice this week. You do. Should I stay or should I go? Should I relocate? Should I not relocate? Should I um, do something about my own inspiration, my own bright idea or not? Should I do this or that? Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, you may have two options, right? Two jobs, uh, two leads if you run your own business, uh, things like that. The Two of Swords in the middle, that's the, I think, the most important card here. That's the card of a crossroads, okay? So you do have a choice. The Hangman clarifying it is a card of stagnation. So I think you will be thinking about it, but at the same time, the hangman is also card of a sacrifice, and it could also be a card of your own bright idea, right? An epiphany, like a light bulb moment, okay? Um, to the left from the Two of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune. It could be a start of a new cycle, or it could be a card of trouble, right? To the right from the Two of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords. It could be you, right? You're an air sign, and the Knight of Swords is an air sign indicator, but it's also a card of trouble. It's, it's the fastest knight out of all four knights. The Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck, I think this is what's on the table, right? There is an offer or a couple of offers, or it could be your own bright idea, it could be your own inspiration, and uh, this week you're going to try to decide what you want to do. Well, if you want my opinion, <laughs> I always, my vote is always on, uh, you know, moving forward. My vote is always on trying new things. Don't be reckless, don't just be, you know, don't be gambling with things, but, you know, as I always say, uh, change is inevitable. Change is inevitable. And uh, there's going to be change whether you want this or not, whether you're going to participate on it or not. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aquarius. We have the Devil, Death, the Five of Swords, and the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio, pretty much any zodiac sign. This spread right here could be directly or indirectly related to you. It could be you who's doing this, or it could be a friend or a family member, somebody you work with, right? And you're just going to hear about what happened, or they will tell you. What's going on here? is uh, somebody here is uh, severing ties with a very unhealthy, toxic person or a situation. Somebody here is making up their mind to put something to an end, okay? It could be a toxic person, it could be a toxic situation or an unhealthy situation, or it could be an addiction, okay? The devil, the first card I came out could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but the devil is either unhealthy, toxic uh, situation or person or an addiction, right? The three of ones on the bottom of the deck, this is a final decision to um, say bye-bye, right? Death in the middle could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but death is a card of an ending, it's a card of a transformation, okay? And the five of swords right next to the deck, yep, there, there comes the severing of those ties. And uh, it's not going to be pretty, right? With the Five of Swords, when people sever ties, when people cut the cord, it's never an easy transition. So I'm just being honest with you, okay? It's not easy. It could be ugly or it could be painful, but uh, I, whatever, it's, whatever is going on, this is done. It's done. Again, I don't know if this is something you're going through or someone you know. All right, so yep, that's uh, what I have for you, Aquarius, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week.